Immigration, Citizenship, and Refugees Canada, IRCC, recently updated its guidance for intercompany transferees, ICTs, making it tougher for employers to secure work permits under the International Mobility Program. These changes were announced on October 3rd. The new guidelines impose stricter requirements on employers, mandating them to be multinational corporations and requiring employees to possess specialized knowledge crucial for their roles. Employers can still use intracompany transfers to get work permits for foreign nationals under the International Mobility Program without a Labor Market Impact Assessment, LMIA. LMIAs are designed to assess the impact of hiring foreign workers on the Canadian labor market, typically requiring more effort and time from employers compared to non-LMIA permits. For intracompany transferees, IRCC now mandates proof that the foreign enterprise is an established multinational corporation with operations in at least two countries before setting up in Canada. The updated guidance also clarifies what constitutes specialized knowledge and outlines the eligibility criteria for foreign nationals applying as ICTs, consolidating this information into a single reference page. It emphasizes that ICTs shouldn't be a method for transferring a general workforce to affiliated Canadian entities and highlights the need for comprehensive documentation in the Global Case Management System, GCMS. IRCC has revised staff guidelines related to various free trade agreements linked to the International Mobility Program, including agreements with the US, Mexico, Korea, Peru, Colombia, Chile, the EU, and the UK. These updates involve standardizing guidance on assessing ICTs for each free trade agreement, with instructions formatted as individual pages for each temporary work provision and an overview page. On the same day, IRCC updated guidelines for entering information in the Global Case Management System for Representatives as part of broader reforms to temporary residency programs. These changes align with Immigration Minister Mark Miller's strategy to reduce the temporary resident population in Canada from 6.5% to 5% over the next three years. Miller announced plans to cut study permits, post-graduation work permits, and spousal open work permits, while the temporary foreign worker program has also come under scrutiny. Canada's upcoming levels plan, to be released on November 1st, will include specific targets for temporary residents for the first time, setting immigration objectives for the upcoming year and the next two years.